a 2003 Volvo S60. Uh, this is a 2.4 turbo automatic. They'll ask you that information, you know, when uh, inquiring on parts. What we'll be doing here is replacing the passenger side uh, half shaft, CV axle, as some people may call it, uh, drive axle, what have you. Um, this is actually a two part axle with a uh, pilot bearing. Uh, it is going to be replaced as one piece though. Um, a couple signs that you can uh, identify to tell that it is bad and needs to be replaced. Obviously you can see the amount of grease that has been slung you know, due to centrifugal force from this boot here in and around and on the chassis of the vehicle, on the back, around the rack and pinion, all in those areas. Sometimes another sign you'll get some noise out of it, some clicking, you know, when you're um, turning, making sharp corners, uh, you know, maneuvering around a parking lot, something like that. Uh, it can also contribute to a ride disturbance, you know, vibration, uh, side to side vibration, up and down, what have you. What I want to do is remove the out outer nut here. This is just a bolt in the end of the axle. It helps keep it, you know, to the, uh, uh, to the hub assembly. Now, a lot of different vehicles, American made vehicles and uh, uh, Asian made vehicles, they'll actually have a, a nut on the end of the axle rather than a bolt in the end of the axle. The Swedish are a little bit different. I think everybody knows that. I'm going to go ahead and just remove the brake caliper here. That way, we've got a little bit of extra swing room to get the axle out of there. Take the brake caliper off so that the brake line doesn't hold us up. To go underneath and pull that carrier bearing but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop the bolts out of the ball joint. This area right here which we've got two nuts here, nut here, nut here which will let the ball joint come down the control arm will come down and swing freely and that will let us swing everything out and pull the axle out. Makes life a little bit easier. Oh, there's number two out of the ball uh, joint. What we got here is what they refer to as the carrier bearing. It's a bearing down the middle of the shaft this helps the extra support. And this shot's from under the car, so you, you'd be under the car getting to this bolt. Oh, absolutely. Now make sure you use the jack stand, not just the jack. Life's a little bit more important than that 50 cent O-ring. Yep, and there we go. All right, so now we got the carrier bearing, it's out. See how much looser that thing got? All we gotta do is just pop it out of the transaxle there. First, gotta dig the ball joint out. So, we'll move back around here again. And this is actually kind of a weird ball joint. But, it actually bolts to the control arm and then it presses into the hub with a couple bolts. Okay. Boop, 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 and I don't have my pry bar. Ideally, you're supposed to should have loosened that up and taken this off before we got started, but you know how it is. Oh, well, some things you forget to do. What we're doing now, though, is we're gonna take the tie rod end off. Not really off. Just take the nut off it and take it loose from the spindle assembly so that we'll be able to move everything a little bit more freer, which I knew I was forgetting something, but I couldn't remember what it was. And obviously this is what it is. Yep, so just gonna make life so much easier. Put a nut back on there, that way we don't lose it. All right, we got that out of the way. We're gonna go under and Finish knocking the axle out of the transmission. So the axle there, <coughs> out of the car. Uh -huh. Big, yeah. big screwdriver, pry bar, something like that. And just pop it right out of the transmission. All right. And then you're good to go. And there it is. But a greasy mess. Wow. Well, that was a wore out. This is going to be a new one that we're putting in. See that the bearings a lot nicer. Now you can hear that one. And that is the carrier bearing that I was uh, speaking of that was in the middle there. Um, now one thing too, I'm gonna try to do, I don't know if I can get away with it or not, just for customer satisfaction, just try to clean up a little bit of this mess. Well, customer satisfaction one, two, I don't want it all over me. Again, sort of kinda gotta aim it from here. And then of course we'll have to go underneath 
to do the rest. Probably right there is about as far as we can go. Give it just a little bit of a love shove. Ah, yep, there it went. Now we can go ahead and go back underneath and set our bearing. And there's one. And let's go for number two. This actually, ladies and gentlemen, this Volvo's replaced the driver's side, and this makes the passenger side has been one of the utmost easiest drive axles I've had to do. Rather than maybe a Honda Civic. And that's that. I think, with the way this thing's set up, I think I put, I think I put the half shaft in the end of this. And then, put the control arm on. I think. Bolt started just a wee bit. I don't have my pry bar on there, that's got me screwed. Um, don't record that, <laughs> you're gonna have to cut that out. Oh man! There it is. I figured I'd get a giggle out of that. so much as a giggle well that one started so that's a good thing and we've got I need to get that out of my way All right, I believe that's number two yes sir now we just need wrenches There we go. Just tie right tight so we can steer it again. I just had to uh, hold that so she wouldn't free spin. Let's see that crap off her. And then I got to. Make sure this dust cover is not going to touch the rotor. Make all kinds of noise. You just re-articulate the steering? Yeah, I just so I could put that brake caliper out here so I can get a, a good line up on it for these uh, brake caliper bolts because these, this particular vehicle, uh, some older Chrysler's, Fords use them. Uh, these particular caliper bolts and or slides is what holds your brake caliper on. And they screw into an aluminum assembly very 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 easy to cross thread if you cross thread them you're screwed it's time to buy a new hub so you want to do everything you can to make sure that you get them in right the first time um, to not cross thread them and that way you're not having to replace a, a spindle and or anything else and just a little bit of grease on there can never hurt help you along. A little lubrication. At least that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. What am I going to do with you? I see you always want to too with these on those caliper slides. Make sure you get them good. I mean, you might as well just go ahead and snug them all the way up by hand. That way you know for sure you didn't cross thread them. See how we're going all the way in. We're going to go ahead and take it all the way in to where we can't turn them no more by hand. That way, we know we didn't tear anything up. Once you got them down to that point, you can go ahead and tighten them up. And you'll be good to go. No worries. Reset our uh, caliper spring here.
voila one half shaft assembly 2003 Volvo S60 passenger side complete